Russian President Vladimir Putin finally acknowledging Biden's victory, congratulating him in a telegram, reportedly writing in part, I am ready for interaction and contacts with you. is still involved in ongoing litigation related to the election. Uh, yesterday's vote was one step in the constitutional process, so I will leave that to him and refer you to the campaign for more on that litigation. So today I want to congratulate President-elect Joe Biden. I also want to congratulate the Vice President-elect, our colleague from California, Senator Harris. This is reaction to uh, Leader McConnell today congratulating Joe Biden and calling him the President-elect. I haven't gotten the president's reaction to that yet, but the president, um, again, is pursuing ongoing litigation, would refer you to the campaign for further. Beyond our differences, all Americans can take pride that our nation has a female vice president-elect for the very first time. What's the forward, though, for litigation? If, if the votes have been certified, if the Electoral College has voted, there doesn't seem to be a legal recourse at this point. The campaign would have more specifics for you on legal recourse, but yesterday was one step in the constitutional process leading up to the January 20th date in the Constitution. The decision by the Electoral College yesterday was determinative. On Friday, Mr. Trump suffered yet another legal setback when three Republican-appointed judges offered a stinging rebuke to his campaign's push to challenge the results in Pennsylvania. Trump campaign lawyers are threatening to take their fight to the Supreme Court. At the same time, Mr. Trump is making new demands on what it'll take for him to step down on Inauguration Day, January 20th. You're going to find tremendous fraud. You're going to find fraud of hundreds of thousands of votes per state. No one has found widespread fraud of any kind, not even President Trump's lawyers. It was a rigged election, so we have to figure it out. President Trump is not conceding. Before hitting the golf course Friday, he hit President-elect Biden on Twitter, bizarrely claiming that Biden can only enter the White House as president if he can prove that his ridiculous 80 million votes were not fraudulently or illegally obtained. Twitter immediately flagged the tweet. The president-elect later revealing he and McConnell spoke for the first time since the election. I had a good conversation with Mitch McConnell today. He talked to him, so I called him to thank him for the congratulations. Trump had the benefit of the Senate starting hearings and starting process before he was inaugurated in January uh, of 2017. Um, does the president oppose Senate taking up uh, Joe Biden's nominees before the inauguration? I think that's a hypothetical, um, and you know he won't get ahead of um, that activity actually happening. But he has taken all statutory requirements um, necessary to in either ensure a smooth transition or a continuation of power. Finally acknowledging that his tenure is coming to a close, saying if the Electoral College certifies Joe Biden's win, he will vacate the White House. Certainly I will. Certainly I will. But I think that there will be a lot of things happening between now and the 20th of January. Trump spent this Sunday golfing and tweeting up a storm. Early this morning, writing this about President-elect Joe Biden. He won because the election was rigged. Critics and even some Republican supporters took that to mean that Mr. Trump was finally admitting that he had lost. I expect uh, Joe Biden to be the next president of the United States. Uh, it was good actually to see President Trump, Trump uh, tweet out that uh, he won. It's going to be a very hard thing to concede because we know there was massive fraud. Dozens of lawsuits from his campaign have been tossed out or withdrawn, and many key swing states have already certified their results. This election was a fraud. Just so you understand, this election was a fraud. Despite a diatribe of unproven claims. So a glitch. Oh, gee, we had a glitch, 5,000 votes. He also acknowledged he has little time left to contest the results and appeared annoyed that Biden is moving forward. I think it's not right that he's trying to pick a cabinet. Just a lightweight. Don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to... I'm the president of the United States. Don't ever talk to the president that way. That anger erupted in response to a calm and appropriate question about whether he would concede. Clearly a painful subject. He 
Biden, only one in the eyes of the fake news media. I concede nothing. Is the president right now in this tweet conceding this election? No, 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 far from it. Lawsuits filed by the president and his supporters have already been dismissed by the courts. And an election oversight team in the president's own Department of Homeland Security found this election was the most secure in American history. That uh, is just the reality. Joe Biden right. won this election. Today, Biden touching down in Georgia, a state he won in an upset, and where control of the Senate will be decided by two runoff elections on January 5th. You voted as if your life depended on it. Well, guess what? Now you're going to have to do it again. Biden urging Georgia Democrats to turn out for candidates John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. Send me these two men and we will control the Senate and we will change the lives of people in Georgia. Biden is also plowing ahead with his transition. Today, picking one-time rival former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg as Transportation Secretary, a key role that would help implement the President-elect's ambitious goal of rebuilding the nation's infrastructure.